Okay, a question based on ratio and proportion, AA style question, very near the end, end of the exam paper. Um, this question is horrible. Um, when I tried to do this the first time, it took me a few minutes just to figure out what, what was going on here. And essentially what this actually is, is a forming an equation and solving it. Although, because you have a calculator available, and it doesn't tell you what to do, you can actually solve this question by trial and improvement. So you could guess an answer, and then work it out, see if it works, and increase, decrease until you get to the right answer. So we'll talk about that a bit later. But to start with, when I first, well, once I actually figured out what was going on here, I tried to write an equation that's that's going on. So I actually looked at the women because that's what it's talking about. So three eighths, if we actually call the number of people that started x, we're trying to find x. So at the start, we've got three eighths of x. Um, that's how many women are in the club to start with, so 3 out of 8. Um, and then when 6 women join those, that is now equal to 40%, which is the same as 40 over 100, or 0 0.4, times by the new number of people in the club, which is x plus 6. So we'll come up with that equation. Now that's not the greatest equation, so that's based on the women. Um, would have been much, well not much, but a little bit easier if you looked at the, the equation to do with the men, because the men aren't actually changing, so it's a little bit easier. So if we look at the men, we have five-eighths of the original club are men. Now the men aren't increasing, they're staying the same, but they become now 60% of the club, but the club has increased to x plus 6. So five-eighths of the original um, club members were men, and now it's 60% of the new club total, which is x plus 6. So if we look at this equation and try to solve this, so uh, 5 eighths is 0 0.625. Now, of course, you've got a calculator available, so these numbers shouldn't frighten you too much. 0 0.6 times x, 0 0.6x, 0 0.6 times 6 is 3.6. Um, and then if I take away the 0.6x from both sides. Oops, that's not a 0.6x. That leaves me with 0.025x equals 3.6. So x equals 3.6 divided by 0.025. And if we bring the calculator in and actually use it for this question, we have 3.6 divided by 0.025. And that gives us 144, which is the answer for four marks. Now, we could do this by trial improvement. If we just guess the number for this, so let's just say x equals, realizing that it must be divisible by 8 because it can be, it can be shared in the ratio, which is equivalent to 8. So it's got to be something to do with 8. So let's start with 80. So if x equals 80, the number of people in the club is 80, then we would have um, the males, the females would be, 50 to 30, and then if we add 6, um, then we have 50 and 36. Now is 36 um, 40% of 86? So um, 0.4 times 86 is 34.4, so no, it's too small. So we need to try a bigger value, maybe double it, 160. So from 160, we'd have um, 100 to 60, and that goes up to 66. Is 66 um, uh, is 66 40% of 166? And no, that's 66.4, so that's too big. So somewhere in between, and then we could work maybe 120, and then we keep doing it until we get to the actual answer. Where we, where we end up being finding that 40% uh, of the new total is 140, well, is the correct. So you get 144. Now, to show you how bad this question was, there were six different alternate mark schemes for this, depending on the method used. So I personally wouldn't have liked to be marking this question on an exam, because it would have took forever.